Hi folks, it's Rex from uh, Galaxy Note 2 Root.com. Uh, um, so I've got a quick overview of the uh, Bullet Kernel. Um, you can actually run this if you're running Android uh, 4.1.2. Um, in the future, just in case you're running anything higher. Oh, actually running on 4, Android 4.1.2. Oh, 4.1.1, sorry. So it should work on 4.1.1 or 4.1.2. I'm not sure if it'll work on uh, future versions or previous versions. Um, but uh, you can see it's bullet kernel. Um, go ahead and just install it in Clockwork Mode Recovery. Uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, once you've installed this kernel, um, it should give you the ability to overclock. Now you'll need to download and install set CPU. Um, you can go to the Play Store, it's like one dot. $1.99 um, you can get it there or you can also um, download it free on XDA just Google set CPU and look for the XDA forums uh, link for it and then just sign up for XDA uh, it's free and then um, you can install this and once you run it you can actually overclock to 1.9 gigahertz now before you set it on boot that means it's gonna actually uh, set to 1.9 gigahertz when your phone boots up um, you don't want to do that until, you know, try running at, uh, Quadrant at 1.9 without setting it on boot. So let's actually try that. It's running at uh, 1.9 gigahertz now. And uh, you can see last run I got 71.25. Um, so pretty fairly fast uh, kernel here. And if you want to get like super fast speeds, definitely check this one out. And you can probably install it on most custom ROMs that are running Android 4.1.1 or 4.1.2. And, uh, um, you know, I don't really recommend running that fast. Uh, 1.8 gigahertz, 1.7 or 1.8 gigahertz, you should see plenty of speed improvements. Um, only go 1.9 if you're like a hardcore gamer and you, or you just need to be just going the super fastest. And overclocking at 1.9 GHz doesn't mean your phone's always running at 1.9 GHz. It's only going to actually ramp up to that uh, when your phone needs to go that fast. Um, and it's, it's pretty safe to do. I mean, these mobile processors are made to go uh, pretty fast. Oh, some, some up with my connection there. So let's try that again. Uh, but pretty good kernel and uh, running pretty good have no problems with it um, this one or the Note 2 kernel and this is for the T-Mobile Galaxy Note 2 please do not install on any other Galaxy Note 2's uh, if you have the SGH T889 model or the T889 V model the, the Canadian models that start in SGH T889 should be fine uh, otherwise please do not install um, as it can mess up your phone um, but I like this, you know, kernel so far. And uh, at 1.9 gigahertz, I've been running Quadrant a bunch of times, and it's you know, if I can run it a bunch of times without my phone hanging up, um, that's a pretty good sign. And there we go. I've got 70, 72.46. That is a first uh, for me here on my Galaxy Note 2. This is the fastest speed I've gotten so far. Oh, and my camera sucks here. I don't have my main camera today. Uh, but check it out uh, for this week. Check out the uh, this kernel, bullet kernel. Um, you can install it on any custom ROM. And let me know what you think. And let me know what kind of highest scores you can get. Um, you can usually run it quadrant like five times. And, you know, take the, the fastest time there and let me know. Uh, but looking pretty good. And I'll have a bunch of more um, kernel stuff, you know, overview too. Uh, but actually I'm running just stock ROM here. And I just installed it over stock. So... So you can also see um, how much, you know, performance improvement um, you have the over the stock 1.6 gigahertz. And also, if you have a Galaxy Note 2, any of the Galaxy Note 2s, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxynote2.com. We update you once a week with Romilly Week tips, hacks, more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button here, subscribe button down there too. And uh, I'll see you guys later. And stay high on Android. Oh, yeah. And uh, see y'all later. Uh.